is your Monday Election Central Daily Brief. Democratic gubernatorial candidate Mike Ross released his plan for Arkansas veterans today, a week after his opponent Republican Asa Hutchinson released his own plan for veterans. Ross says he wants to exempt military retired pay from the state income tax. He also wants to reduce the number of veterans behind bars and help them more effectively transition to civilian life, among other things. His group, Veterans for Ross, coincidentally is headed by another Mike Ross, the former commander of the Arkansas National Guard's 39th Brigade. Well, tomorrow, Mike Ross will, camp will open a Northwest Arkansas campaign field office. Over the weekend, Hutchinson held a Teachers for ASA rally. He says he wants to fix the teacher insurance issues in the state and listen to their concerns. Well, the Democratic Party says things got heated over the weekend when they sent a video tracker to an Asa Hutchinson event. A video posted online by the DPA shows a man swearing at the tracker who said the tracker was a spy and was making the candidate uncomfortable. The Republican Party has also released their own video of one of their trackers receiving anything but a warm welcome at a campaign event for Mike Ross. Not anything surprising from either side, and of course the trackers are there to catch whatever heated moment they can. That's their job. Well, over in the Senate race, Republican candidate Congressman Tom Cotton received the endorsement of former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee. And over in the state's lieutenant governor's race, Tim Griffin has received the endorsement of the Arkansas Right to Life. Well, that's all for this Election Central Daily Brief. I'm Alicia Dover, and you can always find the latest political news on KTV.com or talkbusiness.net.